guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Katie and here on my channel I love to do Walmart grocery hauls every single week showing you guys what I got for our family of five for the week I always include the prices I always include my meal plan um, I just like to throw it all in the video for you guys so if you enjoy watching these types of videos I would love for you to subscribe and become a part of my YouTube family like I said, I try to do these every single week. So let me go ahead, show you guys what I got. I think this is a pretty big haul for this week. Um, all of this stuff was around $200 for um, maybe a little bit less than that for our groceries for the week. So let me go ahead and show you what I got. Okay, so we're starting over here. I got some of these Nathan's hot dogs. Um, it's going to be like almost 80 here at the end of this week, which is really amazing. We, we've we hit like maybe upper 50s, but that's like summer weather. So I figure we need to grill out since it's going to be so nice this weekend. Of course, I had to get more of the Danimal smoothies for our youngest. And look at how fun this is. I saw these on the Walmart app and it was one of those like impulse buys, but these are Reese's like um, ice cream bars and I don't know they look so good I love anything peanut butter peanut butter is my jam so those are going to be for mom and then I got these for the kids to keep in the freezer for summer there's 70 in here so this should last us a while but these are like those freezy pops and I've never seen these before but they're skittles flavored and so I thought that that was so cool so we got lemon orange strawberry green apple and grape how fun are those? My kids like freaked out when they saw the box. They are so excited to try them. And then I got some of this Simply Lemonade. It's the strawberry lemonade. I don't know. I was just feeling something kind of summery, springy, some kind of fruity drink. And that just looked good on the app. We got a pound of ground beef for a recipe this week. Of course, we got our apples for the week. My kids go through apples like crazy. We also got some applesauce because they love that too. We needed some more of these um, Velveeta slices. This is what I use when I make um, uh, grilled cheese and they love it. I grabbed a big box of like the little mini uh, chip bags just to have like to throw in the bag, the diaper bag to take to soccer or um, whenever they need a snack in the car or whatever. And then my oldest, she requested more cherry pop tarts. She really likes those for quick and easy breakfast. And then all of my kids love these um, chocolate dipped granola bars. So we got some more of those. And I needed some more napkins. As you can tell, I'm out. <laughs> That's my little napkin holder. And I really love, like, I hate cheap napkins. That It does nothing, you know, when you use a cheap napkin at a restaurant or whatever. And it's like wiping your face with a piece of cardboard or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's terrible. So I really love the Vanity um, brand of napkins. Well, this is the Walmart brand of that, and it's much cheaper, and they're the same exact thing. So I usually always try to get those. A few more bananas for the week. Another twin pack of our favorite pasta salad that we eat all the time in the summer. And then I got a big tub of Philadelphia cream cheese. We got some bagels this week, and we were almost out, so I went ahead and got this big container. I love Philadelphia cream cheese. Like, I just, I can't bring myself to buy the Walmart brand because I love the name brand so much. And then I got this for my husband. He requested this. It's smoked salmon flavored cream cheese, which is pretty cool. He likes that. I think it's nasty, but he likes it. <laughs> some ricotta. I'm going to be making lasagna. And then this is my favorite, favorite, favorite dip to go with chips. And I figured the night that I make the hot dogs, I, I don't know, just chips and dip go so good with hot dogs. So this is my favorite, the French onion dip. We got some celery. My kids have been loving lately when I cut the celery into little pieces and then put peanut butter in the middle. And then sometimes I either put raisins or chocolate chips um, on the peanut butter and they just love that for a snack. So I got some chocolate chips also because I was out of those. And we got some of these little baby carrots. And these are the best beans, you guys. This is the um, Bush's Grilling Beans. The bourbon and brown sugar flavor is amazing. So I'll probably make those when we do hot dogs. And then I got two um, boxes of these Little Bite Muffins. You guys know my kids love those. We got a family-sized box of Reese Puffs. That is our favorite cereal. So good. Again, we love peanut butter in this house. 
Okay, and then these looked really fun. I saw these on the Walmart app. This is the Arizona iced tea Arnold Palmer drinks, which is half of um, iced tea and half lemonade. And these are the light. So I thought this would be kind of a fun drink for um, me and my hubby for spring and summer to try out and see if we like them. My husband loves stuff like this, so I know he'll love them. But they were also on rollback. So I thought it was a pretty good price for a case of 12 drinks. And then we got some turkey lunch meat, our favorite, the Prima Della. And I got these for my husband. He loves kettle cooked salt and vinegar chips. So we're gonna try out the Walmart brand. Um, it's a little bit cheaper and we're trying to save money <laughs> anywhere that we can these days with these crazy prices. And then of course we got our two frozen pizzas for the week that I always get. I just like to keep these in the freezer. You never know when you need an easy pizza night when things are crazy. And the kids, of course, love that. This is my favorite garlic bread um, loaf. So I got this to, to have on hand in the freezer. You guys know we just moved in, so our freezer is still virtually like empty. So I'm just trying to get stuff to like have. And I also got these. These are um, breaded like chicken patties. And I thought that one night, either for dinner or lunch, I'm not sure, we could do like chicken patty sandwiches. I don't know. It just sounded good to me. So I got those. And I got the... Um, buns to go with that and then these are the hot dog buns when we make hot dogs and um i ordered just the walmart brand um bagels everything bagels and like the great value brand this is also a walmart brand the sam's choice but this is not the one that i ordered but that's what they substituted with so that's fine they look really good and then we needed some more bread for the week of course so i got our wonder bread and then these are my hubby's um, mandarin orange sparkling waters that he loves. And then I got this big um, party size of the Ruffles for the night that we do hot dogs. Um, I told you guys we love chips and dip. So I like these Ruffles with this dip. It's the best combo. Try it out if you never have before. Okay, and this is what we have left over here. A lot of cheese. We always, always, always get this cheese. Um, aged white cheddar cheese slices we always got to get our string cheese um this week i found this ginormous two pound block of cabot so i was super excited about that and man is it pricey <laughs> but it's worth it because it's the best cheese and then i grabbed a one pound bag of mozzarella and then like i said i also tried to get like regular just plain um not flavored bagels the walmart brand and they did not have it so they gave me this it's the einstein brother bagel brand which is actually really good and kind of hard to find around here and these are the asiago flavor which looks amazing like that looks so good i'm actually really excited to try these but i was trying to get plain bagels for the kids so hopefully the kids will like these if not i'll just have to run somewhere else and grab some I grabbed one random peach sparkling water for my husband. It When you do order on the Walmart app for pickup, it always pops up like things that you've ordered in the past to make it really easy. So it takes me like this kind of stuff that we get like every week. It takes me like two seconds to add to the cart. And so this always pops up. So I just go ahead and add it to the cart. So we end up with one random sparkling water, but he loves them. So it works out. We needed some more doggy food, so we got that, and then some marinara for when I make my lasagna, and then my husband needed some deodorant. This is a two-pack, so the price was pretty good. He likes this brand, and it's one of the cheaper brands, which is nice, and then I needed some more Tylenol PM. Um, sometimes um, we just need that. If you have a headache or whatever, this stuff is amazing. It puts you right to sleep, and I just like to have it on hand, and we were out, so that is everything that i got um and now i'm going to show you my meal plan all right here is the menu for this week we are going to have breakfast for dinner on monday night we actually had that on the menu for last week if you guys remember and we never got around to making it because just stuff happened and we ended up going out one night to eat the night that i had planned to make that so it's going to roll over into this week and we're going to make it this week I'm also going to make lasagna this week. I haven't made that in a while, and it's our favorite. And then Wednesday night, I'm going to be making those hot dogs. Thursday night, I'm so excited, you guys. So actually, next week is our anniversary. Um, it's our 10-year wedding anniversary, which is crazy because it feels like it feels like yesterday, but it also feels like it's been a million years. <laughs> like it feels like both. 
but um you know when you have three kids you have to celebrate when you can find childcare. so my parents are going to keep all of the kids overnight so we can go out on a date and have just like a nice quiet night without having to be mom and dad so i'm super excited for that and then i figured friday night i might make these like chicken sandwiches um or if I decide to make those for lunch one day this week, then we can have pizza that night or whatever. But like really easy and flexible as always. Like I always say, like this is not play by play. Like this is not an absolute thing. Sometimes I switch them around. Sometimes like with this breakfast from last week, it gets pushed to the next week. This menu is really, really flexible. It's not like, a, you know, a law that we have to follow it as I write it. But it does help me in my planning and my thinking and in my shopping to have it written out like this. And then if I need to change it around, I can, but it is super helpful. If you don't meal plan like this, I would highly recommend trying it because it, I didn't, I've not always done it this way. I used to never plan anything out and then I'd be stressed every night trying to figure out what I had, what I had the ingredients for, what I could make. And this just really helps me knowing that at least I have the items for these things. And then, you know, if plans change, that's fine. But at least I am not stressed um, every night trying to figure out what I'm going to feed my family. <laughs> okay, you guys, so that is our um, grocery haul and meal plan for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, like I said, please subscribe. I'm getting really close to my to meeting my next milestone of 4,000 subscribers. I'm like slowly inching my way there. So if you have any friends that you think would enjoy my channel, I would love for you to share that. I would be so appreciative um, so that I can meet that milestone. I think it would be so fun to meet that. Hopefully, maybe by the end of June or even beginning of July, that would be amazing. Thank you guys so much for your support. It really does mean the world to me. And I love when you guys leave me comments. It's like one of my ways that I feel like I can kind of connect with you because I always reply back to my comments. So if you do leave me a comment, I please know that I do love reading those and I do always try to respond to those. Um, so thank you again. I love you guys. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.